Hey everyone, Sol here, and the Mithril Plate has finally debuted to the FFO Global. Goodbye P-Plate forever. We can finally have a nice looking plate as our big header, but first we need to take down Dimension Zen 12. I usually show my comps here and I'll just quickly just scroll through them so you guys can see. I do have two major changes. Tier 4 is uh, Freya, Barts, and Shurlata, and Tier 3 is Porum, Prish, and Sarah. So what that ended up doing was it ended up um, saving Celeste and Rem from Tier 3. And then Tier 4, I was able to save uh, Lightning, because she was, had originally ran that solo. For Tier 12, we are running Celeste, X-Death, and Arceella. This team is basically team completely shut down Tier 12 team, running Ifrit to help uh, Celeste's potencies, well, everyone's potencies, really. But it really does help Celeste out especially as well, because Celeste, uh, she has a little bit of... A little bit of trouble um, <laughs> with, the, with their potencies right now, but especially since they're not really running a whole lot of auras. So, we'll see how this goes. Now, right off the bat, uh, B immediately dispels all buffs on him, and he gains a ton of Brave. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually wait to use all my guests uh, with X-Death. I'm just going to Black Hole and do some damage. And like I said, we're going to wait because... If I use it right now, it's just going to get dispelled. Okay, and Noble Darkest Tower again. Yeah, so this team is absolutely terrific for the stage. RCL, of course, blocks a bunch of HP damage. X-Death wipes Brave, uh, no matter how much Brave they have, because he doesn't carry just as his thing. Something to a note here is that one of the buffs that this guy gives himself is Brave Damage Resist. X-Death just completely skips it because, again, X-Death just doesn't care. Um, let's see. Arciella Dispels. Uh, has healing. I mean, this team is very, very good for this stage, for sure. I mean, look at that. Look at that Brave. Just poof. Gone. I love it. So let's go ahead and use a First Ascension to spell his buffs on B. This he becomes a lot less scary. <coughs> About his buffs. And we'll swing edge. Now, if you do not have Arciella or you don't want to use her, uh, Kefka is actually a very good option here. Uh, Kefka is going to be getting his EX Plus here shortly uh, with the next story chapter. And with his EX Plus, Kefka is terrific here. You could probably make Kefka work here without his EX Plus, to be completely honest with you. But I don't have Kefka built the moment, so I unfortunately can't try that out, but I bet you it's possible. And Celeste is just, she just shuts, she just shuts this down, so, so nice. Okay, and that should be X Death EX next turn. This should be an HP attack. Perfect. So, an even miss. So, if you don't remember, uh, the guy on the left, his kind of gimmick is that he'll give himself a ton of brave and some buffs to basically reduce damage to nothing, and then he'll eventually just HP attack you. However, if you get all of his brave removed, then he he just does like chip damage. It's basically nothing. So, you can really keep him in check here on this stage with a speller. Or someone that can completely just block HP attacks. Not too worried about the pony. The pony is easily shut down by Celeste. However, uh, the knight is definitely a problem because he can get some high turn rates, and of course, that high brave and those buffs can be a problem. Thank you for the brave.
think probably Runic with Celeste on A. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Let's, we'll get here at DX soon, but ooh, yeah, I don't like the turn order, so yeah. Let's aggro A again. <clears throat> okay, B flies up, moves all of his stuff, gives himself a bunch of brave, and then X death comes to town, and doesn't care. Oh, that is so satisfying to do. Spinning edge B. E. Wow, yeah, the, see that damage is getting cut. That uh, brave damage resists on B. Yeah, so Kefka is a good alternative for Celeste. Edge. Edge would be very, very good here as well. Gives him that one that 100% uh, evasion. So you definitely have options on this stage, for sure. Yeah, A is, or I'm sorry, B is about to come out of break, and would probably kill RC, so we're going to go ahead and just make sure that doesn't happen. Block that. Let's go ahead and pop that. Oh man, B, uh, B's having a tough time right now. <laughs> Boss from B, not trying to play around with that. This is going to be perfect. The spinning edge B, and then we'll EX with RC. And this will give everyone brave that we know gets broken by this big brave HP attack. Yeah, this is perfect timing. Okay, nice. Yeah, 
We're gonna brave attack. Cause I don't want I don't want X Death to get broken here. Catastrophic. So B's about to cleanse, so using S2 right now would be a waste. Using my S1 would be kind of a waste too, so... Yeah, we'll just HP plus and then we'll S2 next turn. Turn hop. Darkest Hour, and then Celeste. I'm thinking Celeste can... <sighs> runic, Runic A. Okay, a cool baby crush, that's fine. Pony Brigade's dead, so let's just hit B. Okay, so when you take one out, he goes into a rage, but luckily for us, it does not matter. Oh my god, that damage. Okay, here we go. Say those S ones because these guys love to buff themselves as well.
Good timing. We can curse next turn, I'm a guest. Let's S1. I want to get that fast cast going again. It's going to come in a lot of a lot of use on this wave, I think. Plus, being able to heal RC up is a good idea too. Okay, They're targeting themselves. That means they are getting ready to give themselves a ton of buffs. up, attack up, and max brave up. They are framed. So, this is why having a dispeller is very, very good, because if you don't, then uh, you're probably very, very dead. So, I'm thinking... Let's use our S1 one more time. Get these buffs removed. So I can actually do some damage to them. Save X death because now he's aggroed in Celeste. She, of course, has last stand. She'll tank that. Yeah, he just does that. I was thinking about maybe summoning there. They do still have a lot of health left. So we'll hold off on that for just a little while longer.
Okay, and the second time around, they actually grant themselves Brave Damage Resist. So, as if the defense up the first time wasn't bad enough, now they do this. See ya. right there, that would have been terrific. Last runic. Almost got him. Oh, we are so close. Turns are 115. Okay, so we're still doing great on turns. Oh my god. Okay. We're still alive. <laughs> Somehow, some way, we are still alive.
Oh my god, I had to kill him right there, or it was over. <laughs> I got all quiet, I'm like, oh man, this is it. Okay, we're doing, we're fine on HP damage. Oh, we've got him, we've got him next turn. You could even, you could try to HP attack, won't matter. We can't, because you have HP attack disable. Oh my god. And this nightmare stage, my friends, is over. Oh, I was, I was just sitting there like, oh, this is it. That's it. That all attack is going to wipe me out. It's over. And then Shining Ed, Celeste, the Je Magitech General, coming in clutch. We got the score. We got the stage complete. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ooh, what, what a finish, right, guys? All right, well, thank you all for watching. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, good luck on this stage. You're absolutely going to need it. And let's see if we got that new plate. Oh, we sure do. Oh, it almost makes all that worth it. <laughs> so anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Like I said, good luck on the stage. Not cleared by yet by anyone. Well, I guess that means I'm the first person on the global server to complete it. So, you know, I guess I can just hang my hat on that. So that's pretty neat. I mean, I, I know I'm for sure I'm not, but I said the point. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching. I'm just rambling. Good luck on the stage. Good luck on your Alphanod uh, banner draws. And I'll see you guys again very soon. Take care, everyone. Thanks again.